I think the, the real strength in the U.S. economy has been our innovation and it's our ability to innovate and our ability to uh, provide the environment and atmosphere that allows people to innovate. Um, I'm very worried that uh, we're losing that edge. Um, we're losing it because we're not putting money into our educational system. Um, we're losing it because um, we're not allowing foreign students uh, come here to stay here anymore. Um, and that's a two-edged sword because those foreign students now have opportunities back home they never had, so we're competing with those as well. Um, our strength has been, uh, as a lot of countries uh, look at, our strength has been innovation, uh, especially the startups. Uh, we have a lot of corporate R&D, and so does Europe, and so do other countries. But it's the ability of one or two people to get together and find the resources to get going uh, and start up uh, a business that's really been the lifeblood uh, of our economy. Uh, if you look at the numbers, you can see that the jobs in the U.S. are created in the small business sector, not in the large business sector. And that comes from innovation and, and that kind of creativity. Uh, if we're not going to have the educational system that produces that or gives people the groundwork to, to be innovative, and we're not going to be allowed to tap the best and the brightest from the rest of the world to come here to school and stay here to help us do that, uh, doesn't necessarily mean a college degree. You know, we've all heard the stories of Larry Ellison and Bill Gates dropping out. But they went through a lot of school to get there before they did drop out. And they learned a lot in that process, too. And then they found it uh, quite a uh, friendly uh, environment for startups of business. As I was mentioning earlier, I heard from a German professor once that, uh, that Apple could not have been started in Germany because it's illegal to have a business in your garage. Um, we have those kinds of, uh, of, of environment and atmosphere and we need to be very careful about not losing it.